Hello, I am Franita Newville and today we are talking about Refinitiv's data stream product. I am joined by our Director for Economic Content and Data Stream from our London office, Paul Bacon. Okay. Paul, thank you so much for joining us today. So can you please tell us what is data stream? Yeah, of course. So um, data stream is our historical cross-asset database. It's a, a service that's been around for over 50 years in one way or another and has a huge variety of historical end-of-day time series content. So it's our, our go-to place really for our macroeconomic service, uh, but it also has huge amounts of content uh, for indices and equities and bonds and, and across the board. Right. So who are the typical users of DataStream? Yeah, so, so DataStream has, has got a, a huge user base um, and it's uh, from clients around the world but typically our uh, area of expertise has always been in the economist and strategist space. Okay. So DataStream allows clients to, to go back a long time in history and test ideas and go through different economic cycles to see how the markets evolved. And only having those long histories back to the 50s allows you to go away and do that from a user point of view. So um, what are the different ways that um, data on DataStream can actually be accessed by, by our clients? Yeah, so DataStream has a, a couple of different ways to get hold of the content. So first of all, you have uh, one of the most common ways is through the DS chart app in Icon. So from there, you can build out your own charts, uh, a huge variety of, of custom charts, but also you can get access to uh, 9,000 charts that we've built for clients already, so they can get hold of those. Okay. We have a really powerful Excel add-in that comes as part of the Icon uh, service as well. So you can go through and download all your data into Excel. We also have a couple of data feed services, so you can use our, our bulk service if you want to get large volumes of history, get those delivered to you overnight. Or if you are looking for a more interactive service, then we have a, a data stream web service tool, which is great for delivering small amounts of content. So um, tying into that, I guess, I know that a lot of our clients are starting to look at using programming programs such as R and Python. Mm. And then also the user base that you mentioned usually works with programs such as EVs and MATLAB. Can data stream the data on that integrate into those programs and how does that happen? Yeah, you're exactly right. So we, we've always had a long, a long standing relationship with EVs and, and MATLAB. Okay. So you can access our content directly through those products. So you don't have to download the content and then import it. You can even use our own searching tools within MATLAB and eViews to get access to the content uh, and use it alongside your own data or, or other vendors' data. Okay. So that works really well and it's a real sweet stop for economics. Then with the um, R and Python, you have access uh, to our content through our web service and you can download the content through that. We're seeing more and more users having uh, skills, the coding skills, mm. and actually we've made it as easy as possible for clients to access content through uh, R and Python. So Paul, for Refinitiv to remain relevant, it's mm -hmm. important um, for us to make constant data enhancements and add new data sets. Mm -hmm. Can you please tell us a little bit more about the recent enhancements that's been done on the data, on data stream? Yeah, so data stream is, we have a constant program of updating content and adding new content. So we have a, a database of about 40 million time series now, sure. and we add sort of seven to 10% on that every year. But this year's had a real focus on, on China. So we've always had China coverage uh, at a good level but we've really boosted that so now we have over 300,000 new economic series for China so as well as it being the national level data we've got the provincial the regional data and all the way down to the city level data and forecasts on that city as well at exactly the same time all of the other content sets that we have on data stream so the commodities the indices uh, the bonds and so on we've been adding more and more content to make sure that we've got a complete rounded china offering for clients as well mm. thank you it's great to hear that we're committed to you know adding data to data mm -hmm. stream still going forward thank you so much for joining us paul pleasure thank you